Are you a helium miner looking to upgrade your antenna because you want to maximize your range and increase your profit? There is a wealth of in-depth information out there, but I don't think it has to be as complicated as it is. And I'm going to make a simplified version of what you need to know when buying an antenna based on where you live and where you install it. So let's take a look. First up, let's take a look at antenna radiation. Antennas are measured by DBI. The scale for DBI ratings is extensive, so the numbers that we're focusing on for helium miners is 3, 6, and 9. The best way to think of it is the higher the DBI rating, the further the reach is, but the narrower the path. The lower the DBI rating, the more vertical range you get, but the shorter the path. That's sort of how the numbers work. Now let's focus on the most common areas of placement for your antenna. We have three typical setups. We have a city setup, a suburban, and a rural. First, let's take a look at the city. In the city, there's most likely gonna be two types of scenarios that you're gonna run into. There's gonna be uh, an apartment building or condo complex that you're living in with lots of neighboring buildings and densely populated area. So the two things that we have to know is, are you in the middle to lower floor or are you at the top and upper floor? So knowing that will help you decide on what type of antenna that you're going to want. If you're at a higher floor or at the top of the building, you're going to want something in the range of a 9 dBi antenna. And the reason for that is you want to have a further reach to other neighboring buildings, and you'll be able to hit those antennas on top. Now, if you're at the bottom of the building, you're going to want something around 3 dBi. And if you're in the middle, you're going to be looking at a 6 dBi. Next is a suburban setup. In a typical suburban neighborhood, you're going to have everything evenly spaced out with some open areas, but fewer large obstructions. So a 6 dBi antenna or 5.8 is going to be best for this setup because you want to have some vertical range, but also some horizontal range. So be able to connect to other nodes located closely in the network. Lastly, we're going to take a look at the rural setup. In a rural setup, you probably have farms nearby you or open and wide fields, maybe shorter trees, um, but you have a nice open view to a long distance. In this case, you're going to want an 8 dBi antenna because that's going to give you the best range to connect to those other antennas that are far and further apart. Antennas are constructed out of many materials like plastic, rubber, and metal. But in general, fiberglass is going to be the best material to use when you're looking for an antenna. And that's pretty much it. So when you're selecting an antenna, you just got to pay attention to this type of scenario that you're in. And then it's pretty easy to figure out what type of antenna is going to be best depending on the range that you're looking for. Uh, I'm in a suburban one. I'm actually planning on looking at uh, a 5.8 dBi. I'm going to be ordering it now and I'll walk you through the setup when I have it installed. I'm also going to be looking at different types of cables. So if you're interested in that, uh, let me know in the comments below. Also, this community is amazing. You guys have given me a lot of great tips on different types of setups and also a lot of helpful links. So if you have more information on antennas that you want to share with the community, please put them in the comments below so other people can find this very valuable information. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're looking for more information related to helium mining, please subscribe to the channel. I'm going through the beginning stages and working my way all the way through it, and I'll take you along the journey. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.